Priya is how old? Four. She's four years old. And she asked her mom if she could share something. And um, we're going to see if she's going to share it. Tells us to not only just love God with all your heart and all your soul and your mind, 
but to teach that you know into your kids so that they will do the same thing. And um, and you know you think first of all like, oh it's it's like oh it's you know devotion to dinner time, praying when they go to bed, and you just that and bring them to church, get them to gym on time, all that kind of stuff. But really it, it also includes you know the way that you and I interact with each other, how we treat one another, how we uh, treat them, how they see us when we you know, drive our cars, you know, and someone cuts us off. All that is, you know, showing our kids how, you know, Christian people act and behave and so it doesn't just you know, start and stop with Bible time, but you know, they're there. Um, yeah, I'll be Father, Lord, we just thank you for Sophia. God, I just thank you, Lord, she's healthy and she is uh, strong and she's beautiful. And God, I just thank you for um, blessing my family the way you have. God, we just dedicate Sophia to you. We just you know, lift her up and we just ask, Lord, that you um, will help Sherry and I and the rest of our kids, you know, bring her up so that uh, she'll learn to love you and to trust you well in her heart and she'll be. Uh, is serving them to when she gets older. We ask, Lord, that you um, bless Sherry and I as we continue to provide for her and the rest of the kids, and not only materially, but you know, spiritually and emotionally, everything we can do to help raise them to be the best kids that they possibly can be. Um, thank you, Lord, for our church family and our immediate family for all their support and care and, and uh, you know, help. Um, just as you bless this church and love. As being uh, the father of this this group here on this side, I too would like to add to the comments of what Scott has just said, and just truly really give thanks, uh, Joan and I, give, give thanks to uh, uh, to them for their dedication to raising their children and, and the fear of the Lord, and to you as a church that has encouraged them through this path. And uh, I want to ask you to continue to uh, pray for them and guide them. Uh, Stephen, Suzanne. Um, they're right back there. Uh, they're expecting their second child in about six weeks. So, of course, our prayers are going to be with them that they will have another healthy child. Um, so, thank you again to you, teachers, like to add to what Scott said, and for all the care and consideration and love you have shown to Scott and Sherry and their four girls during this uh, transition time. So, thank you. Um, Vivian couldn't be here today because he's sick, but he really wanted me to share this. So this is what he wrote. Um, the very first scripture that came to my mind when I heard of the man X having another little girl was, Oh, the depth of the riches of the wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable his judgments and his past beyond tracing out. Romans 11, 33. This particular word from the scripture that I was remembering was Sophia, wisdom. I felt the Lord impressing on me that this little girl will bring supernatural wisdom into the lives of those she touches. Somehow she'll be able to plumb the depths of God's wisdom and knowledge. Through her life she'll bring blessing and honor to her family. Not only her physical, but also her spiritual. The same word Sophia was also used to describe Jesus' life. When the child grew and became strong, he was filled with wisdom. And the grace of God was upon him. Luke 2, 40. So we pray, Sophia for Sophia the same, that she continues to grow strong in the Lord, and may he fill her with wisdom and his grace beyond her life always. I just want to pray um, for Scott and Sherry, because Scott gave the testimony of being an example for his children, but it's not just about um, telling our kids what to do and praying with them at night and putting them to church, but that our lives would be an example to our children. And so I just really felt that the Holy Spirit just to pray for you too. So Lord Jesus, I come before you, Father, and I just pray in your precious name for an outpouring of your spirit on Scott and Sherry, Father, for their marriage, Lord, for the way that they live their lives, and just that if Scott's 